Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Laura Queso. Here's the latest from WENY TV News and the Star Gazette. Our continuing coverage of the drama at Elmira's first arena. A formal agreement has been reached to allow the Elmira Jackals to continue to play the ECHL season at the arena. The Star Gazette tells us a federal bankruptcy court judge signed an interim order Monday permitting Elmira Downtown Arena LLC, which has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, to pay $18,000 a month to stay in the arena for the rest of the ECHL season. Season. The order allows ELM Arena LLC, which has a deal to become the arena owner, to receive the monthly payments, inspect the building, and demand that Elmira Downtown Arena, controlled by Michigan businessman Mustafa Offer, make repairs. The order says that if Elmira Downtown Arena doesn't pay or maintain it, they must leave the arena and surrender it to ELM. New this morning, there's talk in the village of Dryden to possibly dissolve the police department. Our media partner WHCU reports the village will study the possibility of dissolving its police department. The study is slated for funding from the state at no cost to taxpayers. The state recently awarded $4 million in various grants to local municipalities to find new ways to reduce local government costs through consolidation and reorganization. The village has received 25 grand for the study. The police department's budget makes up 38% of the village's $1.4 million budget. Waverly High School is under fire after three students performed a skit in blackface depicting the highly publicized domestic violence incident involving singers Rihanna and Chris Brown. It's a story we told you about yesterday and it's garnered national attention after Waverly High grad Matthew Dishler posted a CNN Eye report about the skit saying it used domestic violence as satire. The skit was supposed to be a pop culture parody for, Mr. Waver for the Mr. Waverly contest, but some claim it was all in good fun. Others beg to differ. Yeah, well, I think that we live and grow up with those racist and sexist attitudes and the, our culture teaches us ways to defend against uh, taking responsibility for such things. The Waverly superintendent says he will be meeting with school administrators and students this week to quote, set clear expectations for our behavior and the impact it has on all people. And now here's meteorologist John Hickey with your forecast for the day. John. All right, thanks, Laura. We're looking at a frosty start to your Wednesday morning, but going into the afternoon, it'll be nice and mild. So here's a look at your weather headlines. We have areas of frost to start the morning off, but warmth returns today. It was a little cool yesterday, and now it's back to the mid and upper 60s for your daytime highs. We're looking at some slight shower, shower chances for Thursday night through about Saturday morning. Now here's a look at your future track forecast for today. Uh, we started off on the cold side and we're watching this weak system back over the Great Lakes. It's going to mainly pull off towards our northwest, but there's a very slight chance that northwestern portions of Steuben County could get clipped by a stray shower. Outside of that, we're partly sunny and on the mild side today as this warm front lifts through the tiers. In fact, going into your afternoon, we're talking about a five degree guarantee of 67 degrees. It won't be nearly as cold for tonight. Temperatures only getting down into the lower 40s. You wake up tomorrow morning looking at partly sunny skies and then all eyes turn back to this cold front that'll be pushing off towards the northeast through the day. And we'll see the chance for some showers approach probably late afternoon and then going through the overnight hours will be your best chance at seeing some of these showers, perhaps as much as a half an inch or so of rain with this. Then it lifts north by Friday. We could see a stray shower early uh, Friday morning, excuse me, and then we'll be looking at mainly a dry Friday. Interactive Sky Tracker, uh, seven-day forecast. Temperatures nice and mild here over the next three days. A little cooler on Saturday with a slight chance for a shower. A little bit warmer with partly cloudy skies on Sunday. That's your forecast. Here's Laura. All right, thank you, John. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY TV News in High Definition. That's at 5 36 and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Laura Queso. Have a great day.